WJZ Breaking News. The safety of Gigi and Mina is our priority. In the last minutes, developing details in the search for a former officer who kidnapped those two little girls. The breaking details happening now. Hello, I'm Denise Koch. And I'm Vic Carter. Chris, we also want to welcome all of those of you who are streaming us right now this afternoon. Breaking news and the day's long search for Robert Vicosa. So just a short time ago, police found the vehicle in western Maryland they believe was driven by Vicosa. This is a live look from Chopper 13 in Smithsburg. That's in Washington County, Maryland. And as you can see, there is a large police presence, and you can see the vehicle has been covered up. WJZ has team coverage in these breaking details in the search for Vicosa and those two little girls. First, let's go to Annie Rose Ramos live on the ground in Smithsburg. Annie Rose. Vic and Denise, we are on Ringgold Pike here in Smithsburg, just south of Pennsylvania, but in Maryland. And just behind me, you can see my photographer, Tristan, is going to zoom in. You can see a Ford uh, that we think is an edge. We understand that is what Vicosa and Bynum took from Cockeysville earlier. But we understand that that has since been recovered here in Smithsburg. It is covered with a tarp, but you can kind of see the Ford emblem. You can see that it's somewhat of an SUV crossover type vehicle, dark gray, maybe black, but this is where they, we understand they have recovered the vehicle that Robert Bacosa and T.M. Bynum were since last seen in. We do not know anything else beyond that, whether or not Bacosa is now on foot or Bynum is on foot and where those two girls, Gianna and Amina, are now are. But as you mentioned before, Vic and Denise, a heavy police presence, helicopters up above, state police, ambulance, fire department, everybody is here. I can tell you when we arrived a few moments ago, folks were coming out of their house just to see what was going on. I parked in the dairy earlier and they, they asked me if, they, if I knew what was going on because they have never seen anything like, like this. This type of police presence in their own neighborhood, in their backyard. One family was actually putting the kids and their dog into their car so they could get out because they didn't know what was going on, but they wanted to be safe. But I can tell you right now, we are learning that this this is where the car was found, and we will learn much more in the coming hours. Reporting live, I'm Annie Rose Ramos for WJZ. Annie Rose, thank you very much. And our team coverage continues now with investigator Mike Kelgren live at Baltimore County Police Headquarters in Towson. Mike, what can you tell us? Vic, we know there were a number of law enforcement agencies tracking this former Baltimore County officer, including local and federal police agencies. Now, Robert Vicosa's crime spree started back last Saturday, and police say he tied up his estranged wife at gunpoint. He had Bynum's help, they say, and that uh, she was terrorized in her home that they took off with the two kids just six and seven years old. Uh, Bynum was fired from the department here back in August. He'd had a string of different violations. Those children, finding them, that has been the priority of police all along. That is something that they made clear at several press conferences, including one this morning. And Sergeant Tina, Tia Bynum, uh, she uh, has had her police powers suspended here, and uh, she has uh, had her police powers revoked. She's been suspended from the agency. And Police Chief Melissa Hyatt had a message directly for her at a press conference this morning. Tia, our priority is the safety and well-being of Gianna and Amina. Please get these two innocent and precious children to a safe location. You can drop them off at a public safety facility or any other safe location with a responsible adult to care for them. Their well-being and safety is everyone's priority. We know that you are tired. We want to work with you on a safe and peaceful resolution. And Hyatt told me one of the challenges of this investigation is, is that these are two trained law enforcement officers who are the suspects in this case, and they were involved in several carjackings as well. No one was injured in those. Reporting live in Baltimore County, Mike Helgren, WJZ. All right, thank you very much, Mike. And now let's go to Jessica Albert. She talked to the man Vicosa carjacked. She was able to reach him by phone. Jessica. 
Good evening. The victim is under police protection right now. He was not able to talk to me long, but I was able to ask him how he's doing and what led up to this alleged kidnapping. I got information um, that you may have been the man who was carjacked and kidnapped last night by Robert Vicosa. Yes, I was. WJZ okay. spoke exclusively with the man allegedly carjacked and kidnapped by former Baltimore County Police Officer Robert Vicosa and Baltimore County Police Sergeant Tina Bynum. How are you feeling? Very tired. <laughs> You're what? You know, and I'm just a little tired. He was not hurt during the incident. The alleged carjacking and kidnapping happened Wednesday afternoon in Cockeysville. Police say Vicosa and Bynum had a gun with them and forced the victim to drive them around to several places in the Baltimore area. The victim says Vicosa's daughters, Amina and Gianna, were with them. I'm worried about the babies. Did you, you know, see them? Beautiful little girls. Uh, you know. After making sure he was okay, I asked the victim what happened before he was kidnapped. I got off of work like 12. I uh, dropped my boss off and then I came home. That was around 1 something. I was getting my bags and stuff out the cars. I always look around. This is when the police officers providing security for the victim asked him to stop speaking with me. Uh, I really hope you're okay. I am. Uh, it's not a scratch on me. Thank God. And we are not identifying the victim right now because he is under police protection. We are happy to hear that he is doing okay tonight. Reporting live in Cockeysville, Jessica Albert for WJZ. Jessica, thank you very much. Let's go now to Paul Gessler. He is in Parkville. He joins us now with the activity in Towson this morning following the carjacking. Paul. Well, Vic, it appeared that officers were hot on their trail early this morning. Tactical units were mobilized in mass at various locations up and down Joppa Road here. But things have been much more quiet here in Baltimore County much of the afternoon. No matter what, it's all about the children. People in Baltimore County seem focused first on the safe return of Robert Vicosa's two daughters. I mean, our society is, to my opinion, is going crazy. And, uh, I do feel sorry for the kids. I hope they're safe. Police officer, they still his children. You know, they his children. So you hope he love them enough not to want to hurt them and bring them back to their mother. It appeared police may be closing in on Vicosa and his alleged accomplice, suspended County Police Officer Tia Bynum early Thursday. Focused on a nearby hotel, came up empty. A former and current police officer on the run considered armed and dangerous. Two people who are supposed to be serving and protecting the community. We have no idea where they at. You know, they could be sitting in front of our face for all we know. Back live now here in Parkville, where county police directed us to, and the rest of the media to this staging area just before 10 o'clock. And so far, the only official update on camera has been up in York, Pennsylvania, about 45 minutes up the road from here. We are told state police have now taken the lead on disseminating information out of Washington County, where Annie Rose is. For now, reporting live in Parkville tonight, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ. All right, thank you, Paul. So here is what we know right now. A vehicle driven by Robert Vicosa has been found in Smithsburg, which is Washington County, Western Maryland. It is unclear if anyone is in that vehicle. And police have been looking for Vicosa, who kidnapped his two daughters from York, Pennsylvania. Investigators believe Vicosa had help getting assistance from Tia Bynum, a Baltimore County police sergeant and close friend who has now been suspended from duty in response to her involvement in this case. We invite you to stay with WJZ for the latest on this breaking story.